Are you looking for the right equipment to fish ponds with? If so, this video is for you. Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Fish Talk, a show where I've got 5 minutes to discuss all things fishing. Now this show actually appears every single Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time Zone, so stay tuned, click subscribe, and there will be more great content on the way. Now before we get started on the subject, I feel like we need to hit one important thing. I gotta put the right hat on. Let's test a couple. I think we just found our winner. Largemouth? Are you kidding me? That's super cool, super swaggy, super fresh. Let's talk pond fishing. Thanks to Pond Hoppers TV for this week's suggestion. Check him out, he's in the description below. I just loaded five minutes on this timer here and you know what that means. I know what that means. We all know what that means. Boo! Boo! It's time to get real. I'm talking about pond fishing today, guys, and you know why this is such an interesting, fun subject for me to cover? Is because it's where it all started for this guy. Like many of you, pond fishing is where I really learned how to bass fish. And uh, you know what? There's about a million other videos out there on this exact subject, so because of that, I'm going to try to bring a little bit different perspective, or a little bit more simple perspective on this, because I think sometimes people are just shoving down the same exact information down your throat all day long, which literally every other video is basically like top five baits for pond fishing, and it's always telling you pretty much the same thing. So, because of that, I want to bring a little bit of my perspective, and then we'll go from there, and you guys, as always, let me know what questions you have in the comments below, and I will be happy to answer them, because that is what my life revolves around, is the YouTubes. First and foremost, fishing hat. Fishing hat, very important. When you catch a giant fish, do you want to look like some sort of scrub wearing the wrong hat? Absolutely not. Get that picture, get that large mouth swag up there. You're gonna look so cool on Instagram, it's not even gonna be funny. <laughs> okay, let's talk serious stuff here. What Pond Hoppers had asked me was, he wanted to know what rod, reel, and line, you know, you use for pond fishing. Well, here's what I'm gonna tell you guys, is it's the same for, as anything else. It's not like a pond is any different than a lake. Uh, except it's just smaller, but it, like when it comes to catching a fish, it's kind of the same process, right? You cast it, you hook it, you reel it in. Whether you're on a boat or on the bank or whatever, it really doesn't matter. So what I'm going to tell you is this. There is no perfect rod for pond fishing. There's the right rod for the right technique that you're using. And what I'll tell you is the same thing as everybody tells you. If I can, if I can get my rod out. The same thing that everybody tells you, it's basically a six foot six to seven foot medium action rod will do the trick, whether it's casting or spinning. A lot of times I'll throw spinning just because I like finesse, finesse plastics and stuff like that. Um, eight pound test on spinning, 12 to 15 on casting. Oh my goodness, is that something that you never heard before? No, you know what? It's probably the same thing you've heard every single time. The only reason is because almost 80% of the baits in the market probably will be fishable on that tackle. So when it comes to pond fishing, you're probably not carrying a ton of tackle, so you pretty much want to simplify. That's my number one bullet point is simplify. Hey -o. Um, So that's really covered down on rod, reel, and line. So if you have any questions, particular questions, whatever, on specific techniques and whatnot, drop those in the comments below. Now, with regards to baits, this is the part that everybody always tells you about. Top five lures for fishing in ponds. Top three lures. For the same title every time, the same message every time. Here's what I'm telling you, just like any other body of water, I feel like people are always like grouping ponds together as this one thing. It's like, oh, it's always the same thing. It's not. One thing that I've noticed throughout my life is that one pond, you might catch the heck out of fish on like a little crankbait, and another pond, you never get bit on a little crankbait. So what I'm gonna tell you is the same thing that applies to any body of water is you need to apply the technique you're using to the, the water that you're fishing. So what I mean by that is forage, water clarity, um, and what kind of structure and cover is in that body of water is really gonna dictate what you use. Now, um, with that being said, I will tell you this, for the majority of ponds that I fish, I like to throw plastics. Whether that's a plastic craw, plastic worm, you get the picture. I do that at the same, that's the same thing for lakes though, as it really is the same thing. I mean, like, you can use anything you want. Cinco, a lot of times, just like everybody tells you, is going to be a money bait. But so are a lot of things. And there's probably some lakes and ponds that actually a Cinco doesn't produce the same. So the next bullet point that I'm telling you right now is experiment. That was the funnest part about pond fishing for me, was when I was coming up through high school and I was learning a lot about bass fishing, 
What did I want to do more than anything was try new baits. I actually distinctly remember the first time I ever fished a Senko. It was in a pond, a farm pond. Dude. I did a wacky rig. I was like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And then I caught like 30 bass and I was like, all right, I like this. But the same principle applies to swim baits or jigs or whatever you want to fish. Just know this, in ponds, because those fish are so honed in on like certain, whether it's insects or frogs or you know, bluegill or minnows or whatever they're kind of honed in on and eat, a lot of times there will be those, those baits that don't produce at all. Like there are a lot of uh, ponds I've been to that I cannot catch a fish on a jig in. There's other ponds that I smoke them on a jig in. So just know this, if you have no luck with one technique in a pond, don't give up on the technique, but maybe not use it in that pond moving forward. So that's really, uh, that's really the interesting perspective that I thought I would bring to this, is I'm not gonna say, holy cowzers. I actually covered that for five minutes. I didn't think I would make it five minutes. You know what? I really got through all I wanted to talk about. The three messages, the three bullet points, because I missed the last one is simplify, experiment, and what's the last one, guys? Have fun! Have fun is always the, the goal of fishing, is it not? If, if you're not trying to have fun, then you're doing something wrong. Okay, one last order of business, my friends. Do you guys have an Instagram account? If you do, go follow me, and guess what? If you tag me in your Instagram post, like a fish or something, I might just repost you, because that's what I do for my fans. I love my fans. Oh yeah, my dad told me not to say I love you guys. Sorry. I really like my fans. I really like you guys. <laughs> I think I had an okay video. Let me know what you thought. Otherwise, you know what I'm about to say, right? Have yourself a fantastic weekend. And I think I'm getting a bite there. We'll catch you next time.